Abhishek Banerjee and PKD Nambia are with us. Uh, is that tone acceptable, the tone that the higher education minister used? And he is a past master at this. He's, he's uh, done these acts in the past too. But when you say, see what their halat is, Hindi bologe to hi job milega. But see what the Bengaluru, so Karnataka also has seen this language war largely used for politics. PKD Nambia, where do you stand? I think whether it is samosa, idli, dosa, vada, we all relish every, whether it is pani puri, we all relish across the country. So if today a, a, a senior education minister who is saying that all those people who speak Hindi are the ones who just do, they, they can't go beyond the pani puri, is something like makes sure, gives a feeling that he is not at all qualified to be an education minister, forget about the being a senior education minister for the higher education. Also, look at the platform he chose wherein he was uh, uh, at the platform of uh, a university convocation. Where is the question of learning a new language? Well, I am a South Indian, hardcore, born and brought up uh, in Kerala, mm. but I live in Delhi from the last 25 years. I am very proud for the fact that I know Hindi and I can speak Hindi, I can write on Hindi, and I have been able to learn this in my school, in the government school, throughout my education. So I think. Mm. Uh, this is this this new culture which they are trying to emulate from south that there is an anti india uh, anti hindi movement and hindi hindi speaking is makes you like a, a smaller people or the people who are not up to the mark of uh, people who speaks tamil, tamil malayalam or karnataka kannada or any other language is definitely mm. unwarranted also please note that he also said uh, on another show i was uh, one of the dmk spokesperson was just talking about that People who goes uh, uh, here and there, the people who speak Hindi, or the, especially the people who are from the Hindi belt, who goes to various places only for the Pani Puri purpose. Somebody was reiterating. So that means mm. all the Tamilians, all the Keralites who travels to the Middle East, work as a labor. So what will you say? Because they mm. know Malayalam or a Tamil or a, 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 a Telugu or a Kannada. Does that make them a, a law class citizen? I think every language needs to be respected. Every language has got 43 percentage to 45 percentage of the people speak Hindi. More than 55 percentage of the people uh, uh, on the digital media is the Hindi speaking people. So why, how can we even say the 43 percentage or 45 percentage of the people mm. using a language demeaning them, it makes them small. And second, no. Is the Tamilians don't work across the country? Is the Tamil Nadu is a separate country altogether? I don't know whether Anand, I believe that you are also a South Indian, maybe. So I think does that make Sir, that I am I, I, I am a Palagad I am born in Trishur. I speak Tamil, I so, speak Malayalam, I am born and brought up in North so India, so I speak people. Hindi. I, I, I speak Hindi, I, I, I studied a lot in Maharashtra, so I speak Marathi. I have no problem with any of my language any of the languages Anand, we speak in you India. Said it. I, you said it, so, Anand, so, actually. So, so the, my question by, by the question, Pikiri Nambiar, is that when Tamil Nadu insists on a two-language policy, aren't they also trying to continue to hold on to a colonial mindset, where he's trying to say that either you stay in Tamil Nadu or you go abroad. So you don't work in the rest of India. Now, there is a real problem. These are numbers. Say the total number of nurses who come out of Tamil Nadu and the nurses who come out of Kerala. Nurses from Kerala are employable across India, pan-India, because they speak one more language that is Hindi. And those who come out of Tamil Nadu have a problem because they don't speak Hindi. If you're working pan-India, you need to have a link language. I'm not saying it has to be pure Hindi or Kariboli. It can be Hindustani, which is a mixture of many, you know, a potpourri of languages which are with the base being Hindi, which everybody can understand. It may be spoken with different dialects and twangs, but it connects all of us. It just links us. And why shouldn't we have why shouldn't we have three languages? We need three Indian languages. Our Matra Bhasha, our Rajya Bhasha, and of course the Lok Bhasha or the Jan Bhasha of the whole country, which will be the link language. Abhishek Banerjee with that. Then we can look at the Anand, international languages. Anand, I hope you have been heard by the minister and the people of Tamil Nadu today. I think there can't be any better way to put whatever you've said is the real thing which all the people who are the politicians from the, the Dravidian politics they wanted to emulate should be hearing it. This is precisely, I think, learning a new language is always the best thing to happen for an individual. I think today we are a country. And secondly, he is talking about why this colonial mindset, he is not able to come out of, why this love for... Uh, English, mm. but not for Hindi. He, do, he has a major problem with Hindi, but he has not, he don't have any problem with uh, English. 
Hmm. And you well, let me also tell uh, the minister should be knowing not more than uh, more than 22 percent of the people across the world speak English. Rest of them they don't speak. The Japanese don't speak uh, English. Chinese don't speak English. Uh, the Spain, the Spanish people don't speak English. The French hate English. So where is this question of the special love for English? But you have a special. Uh, uh, See the point is the whole concept of concept of integration. Right, Abhishek Banerjee and P K D Nambiar.